Lessons falling on me. I got weapons, need no army. That like Tetris, you don't know me. That my fatty, you don't know me. What's up, internet people? YouTube people, Facebookers, all of you guys, what is up? You and I know you about that life. All right, so today we're out on the Andra Black Car 3. Big shout outs to Andra, super stoked. For anybody that doesn't know, yes, I did get on the team with Andra. I'm pretty glad to be representing a company that's about riders. Just pumped to be with Andra for sure. So, this Black Carf 3 just got to me a few days ago. You guys know I don't do regular reviews. I'll put out a range test, a speed test, stuff like that. But I want to do something a little bit different this time. Okay, hey now, it's a new kid on the playground. Yeah. So many bags on me, you would have thought I was a spray ground. Knowing how far a board goes and how fast it'll go, what cells are in it, what ESE, all that stuff is important. But you can find it in almost every review video. I want to let you guys know how these boards make me feel. Do you feel safe? Do you feel stable? Are the controls sketchy? Are they not sketchy? Is it fun? Does being on it bring a smile to your face? Or are you just thinking about how fast you can get home to get off of it? We all know what I'm talking about. Everyone has been on that PEV in their lifetime that is just sketch. That you just want nothing left to do with it. You just want to get it home and you're only riding it because you had to ride something. We've all been there, right? Not just me. Please tell me you've been there. So like going down this huge hill, for instance, there's boards I would be on that I'd be sketched because of how the brakes are. On this black car, you can actually set the brakes. I have mine to set to 80% and it feels super, super good. It's not sketchy, able to just enjoy going down the hill and you can hill bomb it if you want. Or like I said, you can just relax and go down the fucking hill without being scared shitless that your brakes are gonna lock up or that they're not gonna work. A lot of these things these days are getting really big and really fucking bulky. Convenience is a big thing of mine. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little test and just roll down the sidewalk and see if the Black Carve 3 is gonna get canned or if it's gonna be cool. How you doing? So, so far the size of it doesn't have people jumping out of the way like it's a monster or it's super scary. How you doing? It's not super loud. Like all the other boards I've tried are, have been pretty loud. This one's pretty quiet, honestly. Like right now I'm just scooting along and it's not bad. Um, also, I am in Brutal, which is the highest mode that the remote will go into. Um, and it's not jerky, like it's not gonna knock you off. It's a very smooth acceleration. So riding around on things like this, like sidewalk and shit, you don't necessarily have to pop it all the way down to the eco mode to feel safe. Again, this remote is not only ergonomically good, but it just, it's smooth. Very, very smooth. On road with the six inch tires, man, this thing is just comfortable. It just makes you feel good. You know, like we're talking about how it makes you feel. You trust the board, it makes the book. It makes you feel good. But now on this dirt, this shit is always a little bit different story. So six inch wheels are not the best for dirt riding. Right now I feel a little sketch and I feel real vibrating. I don't know if vibrating is a word. Oh shit. Oh. Okay, so even, that wasn't a bad alley. That's pretty smooth dirt and it was pretty choppy. Not gonna lie. Pretty damn choppy. But this board isn't built for off-road shit. You know, this is not a mountain board. And yeah, yeah. So the board has a top speed of about 27, 28 miles an hour on these wheels. So it's not gonna be anything crazy sketchy fast. It gets there again really, really smoothly. 
Brakes are super smooth, set at 80%. I haven't rode them at 100%, but that's personally because I don't like strong brakes. That's just not something I'm a fan of. We're brought it over here to the baseball field. Ooh. We're gonna do some donuts and stuff and see how that goes. Now they know I don't play around. I can hear what you're saying now. I just doubled up my flight map. Coast to coast, no they ain't in town. I get rich, watch, then I get a sick watch. Watch me hit the top, I might make a tick tock. Left hand, right hand. Catch a Shit. Okay, so it's not really anything to complain about. Um, but simply put, the board's just not handling this dirt very well. Um, I think it's the six inch tires. I never rode six inch before this. Um, a lot of people figure because I was on Evolve so long that I rode six inch tires. I wasn't ever a fan of them. I always figured if you're gonna go all terrain, go all terrain to where you can ride all terrain, not just aired up street tires, I guess. I'm not talking shit, I'm just, this is my personal preference. Now on trails, paved trails, this board absolutely shines. This is, it's a vibe. Straight up, it's a vibe. The Black Carve 3 is a vibe. Super smooth, like I said, not the fastest, but definitely quick enough to get your heart going. Fast enough to have some fun with, not fast enough to die. Makes you feel good. Makes you feel real good. All right, we're back out here for day two of the Andra Black Car 3 How's It Feel test. You know what I'm saying? Like a review, but a little bit different. What we're gonna do today is I'm gonna go ahead and find out exactly how much range this thing will get. If I ride in Brutal the whole time, Brutal is the highest speed setting on the remote. So we'll see what's up. So another thing I've been kind of curious about this board with is the auto reverse function. Um, there's so many different things you can do in the remote menu on this. I really, really like that. I can't stress enough how much I like everything about this remote right here. But yeah, I haven't had reverse on an Eastgate in a while, so I don't know, it could be fun. I see what situations I run into where I need reverse. How often do y'all need reverse? I've done about three miles and I'm at 95%, which is usually what I would get on my other boards. I'm not gonna say no names of board companies to compare this to. If you know me, you know what I've rode for a long time. You know what I've ridden. I don't know. If you don't, go check out the channel. Latest trend, I might double up my network. I've been going up now, see the top going down. If you didn't know now, I know you know now. That's cause you could go on top. You're not really top. You keep saying top. Well, I guess you let the top down. So again, you're not gonna get the fastest board ever with the Black Carve 3. But you're gonna feel some goodness, that's for sure. It's super, super smooth. The last thing I'm worried about or thinking about is locking up my brakes or jamming the accelerator too hard to the point where I throw myself off the board. And even me, I've been skating for a long time and the torque on some of these boards, it's good to have, but if you're just sitting around waiting or you bump your accelerator or anything like that, you're coming flying off your board. In race boards, in race scenarios, in setups like that, having that super burst of torque is nice. But again, I'm not riding a board right now that is gonna go up against stooge boards or bio boards. Top speeds aren't even comparable. They're two different worlds. This is a board you can just pick up and run down the street, run to a group ride, go to the store, go out and do e-skate things as opposed to having a full-blown electric vehicle i really like the feel of this board i love the fun it's bringing me so far and i can't wait to bring you guys more footage because honestly i could rip the shit out of this thing i think Woo. joe i need reverse 
Hold these back. Ooh! Ooh! I backed up! Put your thing down, flip it, and reverse it! <laughs> that was pretty cool. So yeah, I guess reverse is a plus. Chalk it up, one point for reverse. All right, so I'm at about 50%, halfway through the ride, and just got some food, about to go explore a little bit more, keep riding, so make sure you stay tuned. I'm gonna go out and skate. And yeah, I think I'm at about 20 miles right now, 20% battery. Not one time during this whole ride have I been sketched out about going up or down a hill due to acceleration or braking. Um, haven't been worried about a board malfunction or a cutout or anything like that. So, call me crazy, but I'd rather have a satisfying 20 miles than a nerve-wracking 40 miles any day of the week. Okay, so yeah, looks like we're gonna aim right around about 21, 21.8 something miles. I don't know, I just checked. That's riding in brutal, the highest mode the entire time. Um, that's going up hills, down hills. That's riding without, without trying to be, without trying to save rings. That's real world riding. Well, I could have said all that by just saying real world. But I'm freaking complicated sometimes, and that's just how I do things. But yeah, I appreciate every single one of you guys for watching. Thank you very, very much. If you liked it, hit the like and subscribe button. If you didn't, watch it again and make sure that you for real didn't like it. And then leave a comment and let me know why you didn't like it. But yeah, for real, I do. I appreciate every single one of you guys for rocking with me over all the years i couldn't do any of this shit without any of you guys don't forget that so much much love to all of you guys and until next time peace